We are now going to take you live to Melbourne where the AMA is giving an update on coronavirus. Together, collaboratively to ensure that patients and indeed the community is protected. Doctors have worked always within the available guiding uh, principles and guidelines to ensure that we utilise our resources to contain the spread of COVID-19. Yesterday we had the, the, the news that basically the, the doctor from Turak was, had been announced as having tested positive. It's important that we put this into context. The doctor returned to Australia back on February 29th. It's clear that he, he picked up um, a cold at some stage in his travels late in uh, February in the US of A. Upon returning, he had symptoms consistent with a mild cold and by the time he started work, according to his own information that he's put on uh, online and that indeed he has informed the authorities, uh, had largely resolved. The doctor acted within good faith and informed clinical judgment to make sure that he didn't expose or didn't cause any undue risk to those patients that he was treating. Clearly, he made a decision to test himself, even though, even though at the time that he did do the test, he was not one of the, it did not fall within the guidelines for having testing. Let me assure you again, at the time that he returned to Australia, the guidelines did not require him to be tested. Let me assure you that when he did have the test, he still did not need to be tested. And indeed, as we stand here today before you, those guidelines still do not require uh, that um, anyone returning from the US of A to be tested. So we have a doctor acting within, completely within the guidelines at the time. We have a doctor here who, put, who made a decision in good faith about the needs of his patients. And then we have a doctor here who acted within the available information at the time. It's clearly very unfortunate and disappointing that the Minister saw fit to make the comments she did yesterday. They are a concern to the frontline medical profession who have nothing but the well-being of the community and indeed their patients. And they make decisions putting themselves in the front line day after day during this evolving uh, crisis. It's important that the community be reassured and understand that the doctors take their responsibility very carefully but this doctor indeed all doctors are acting within the guidelines as they stand and clearly the decision yesterday by the minister to make those comments is very disappointing indeed going forward let me re let me be very clear in this if the health authorities want to change the advice to the medical profession about the guidelines around who should be tested and who shouldn't be, let them be very clear with us forthright and immediately. The, this is where we need to have a consistency of message. We need to collaboratively work together to ensure that the, the community, the patients, all healthcare workers are not put at risk and have the best available treatment guidelines possible during this, this time. I'll hand over now to Professor Wright if he wants to make any other comments. Uh, thank you, Tony. Uh, I would agree that the situation for this particular GP has been most unfortunate. Indeed, I would agree that the Minister's comments were unhelpful to ensuring that the workforce is reassured that uh, the health authorities support them. Uh, as has been indicated, we don't feel that this poor GP uh, uh, was certainly someone who could have reasonably thought he was at risk. And moreover, we don't believe that he's, uh, he was required to undergo testing. But beyond that, he actually went further and uh, just to be absolutely sure about his circumstances, elected to get a test himself. And so I think that really he should be commended for taking that extra step himself, even though he didn't meet by any measure the criteria that the uh, government themselves have uh, established for testing and self-isolation. Does Jenny McCarkoff need to apologise to Dr Kevin? I believe that an apology is appropriate in these circumstances. Sorry, I'll say that again. 
I believe an apology is appropriate in the circumstances. The doctor acted within all the available guidelines and information from the authorities and did made an informed decision, made a, a decision in good faith to attend work. And it, it was really quite unhelpful what the, the minister did uh, say yesterday. Just to, the, sorry. Oh, sorry, just to be absolutely clear, um, Minister McCarkos yesterday, she was flabbergasted that a doctor with, you know, cold-like symptoms would go to work. He had a runny nose. Is that a symptom of coronavirus? All right, so we need to be clear about the facts. According to what the doctor has advised to the Department of Health and has subsequently put up on, on uh, available resources, that he, his symptoms had largely resolved. Now, the recovery from coronavirus, let me take one step back. Coronavirus can be a very, very mild condition. Clearly, the doctor was recovering from that, but the, the symptoms obviously were out of consequence with the actual infection itself. We can have people clearly with almost very, very, very mild conditions who will be not picked up because of, unless there's any other specific risk factor, will not be tested or picked up and indeed diagnosed as having coronavirus. We know that one of the situations from overseas, from overseas is there's clearly a very large undiagnosed component in the population, which makes the understanding of the virus even more challenging than it is. This is one of the reasons why um, it's important to get the facts and the information before commenting. And as I say, within the guidelines, within the symptoms that the doctor has largely attributed to, within the guidelines, uh, within the facts that have been published uh, yesterday by the doctor, who was acting within the guidelines, and according to the symptoms that he believed were largely resolved, he was acting appropriately and indeed in good faith and largely uh, to see the minister follow down that, those comments yesterday when it is clear that the frontline medical profession, indeed the, the GPs and the emergency department doctors and indeed the other healthcare workers are going to be crucial in ensuring the confidence to the community. We've had situations in, around considerable amount of panic this week Un unexplained panic, um, hysteria bordering at times. We can't have a situation where people are fighting in supermarket aisles for um, toilet paper and then at the same time look at what, you know, the inconsistencies in messaging. We need to reassure the public and the community as a whole that the coronavirus is a, vi which, a virus with mild symptoms largely. It is a small, small proportion of the population which is going to be at risk of any further complications. And that's the important part of having the underlying confidence to attend doctors during this really difficult time, ensuring that the best health is being able to ma maintain across their own uh, health uh, portfolio and they're obviously the community's perspective.